Welcome to Test 2 Plus, everybody. I'm Trace, and this week we have set out to tackle all things artificial intelligent. Or intelligence, really. We're not tackling AIs. And today we're wondering if AI could be helpful or dangerous. So, I guess the question isn't so much now that whether artificial intelligence is great, but it's really the question that we get in pop culture all the time is the threat of artificial intelligence. Is artificial intelligence bad or is, could it be good? Strong AI is the opposite of weak AI. It's an intelligence explosion. It's recursive self-improvement. It's when AI starts actually thinking. Again, this is one of those times where you will know it if you see it. January 2015, Stephen Hawking, Elon Musk, Bill Gates all signed a letter saying that artificial intelligence it would mark the end of the human race. They're not the only people that signed it. A lot of other very smart professors and uh, people who study computers and artificial intelligence all signed it and said, this is bad. It's real bad. In 2014, um, Elon Musk specifically said that it is the biggest existential threat to humanity. Artificial intelligence. It's a threat. Hawking said that it once it initialized Artificial intelligence, or strong AI, would take off on its own and redesign itself at an ever-increasing rate. Essentially, iterations of a strong AI could evolve so amazingly fast that these very smart people say that eventually we would be overwhelmed by how smart it was and we'd be done. And even if it could grasp emotion, maybe it would be better at emotion, not just thinking. It depends what kind of AI this is. If this AI understands the world in the way that we do, it could be better at literally everything. The head of Nuance Communications, uh, Charlie Oritz, said the opposite, however. He said, I don't see any reason to think that as machines become more intelligent, they would want to destroy us or do harm, which if you think about it also makes sense. Because from a human angle and from a nature angle, things destroy or attack or prey on things that are weaker or smaller. That's how nature works. But computers don't do that. If I make a bigger Microsoft Word, does it eat Microsoft Word that's smaller from last year? No. It doesn't care. It runs the same system. If there's two of them running on the same system, it doesn't delete the other one. We want to control things as we get more powerful. But who's to say that machines would even give us a second thought? It could be that they just do their own thing and maybe they ignore us and leave or and they kill us in the process. I don't know. Hopefully it's neither. But uh, a practical bad example of AI being bad in our time is the flash crash from 2010, I think. Uh, artificial intelligent machines that, that work on the stock markets predicted that there would be major swings in the stock market. Uh, it was based on a trade that a single company put in. And that trade was so huge and so quick, it was such a quick trade, that the artificial intelligence machines didn't know what to do. Algorithms were deciding what was being bought and sold, and it was doing it at such a speed that humans didn't know what was happening. So the Dow dropped 1,000 points in five minutes when these artificial intelligent machines thought that something was going to happen. Then it recovered 600 points in just a few more minutes. 1,000 points in the Dow is a trillion dollars. Gone, five minutes, then it came back. All because computers were connected to our money systems. The AI programs that make the trades could do it so quickly that humans didn't even know what had happened. We didn't even realize. And by the end of the day, the Dow ended on a normal pace because most people will never even notice it happened. But for a moment there, just for one moment, the US economy dropped significantly because of AI. Another good example of, of AI that we have now that's good, because you know, I'd like to think of it as a good thing. Uh, I'm, I'm going to bring up the Roomba again. Keeps your house clean. It's kind of nice. Plus, you know, you've got chatbots if you want to talk to a chatbot. They're still just chatbots, of course. They're just something to chat to or talk to. But there are chatbots that are working for good, like in psychology. Chatbots can be used to talk to people. And studies have shown, many studies, and they're all surprising, have shown that people actually like talking to chatbots when they have a problem. Because chatbots don't judge you. You can tell a chatbot anything about your past, even if it's embarrassing. And the chatbot doesn't care. 
the chatbot's going to respond and it's going to listen to you. These are being used for people with a variety of different mental disorders, but also people with simple things like with simple, just simple problems. They can go online and they can log into a psychology website that will talk to them. You can text a psychologist that is a computer. It's also being used for really complicated things like PTSD. People can talk through their problems and feel better about them. As of now, AI is going to move forward regardless of what we do. There are no laws limiting AI, but the risk and the benefit are clear. If AI gets so strong that we cannot stop it, there's nothing we can do, that could be bad for us. Is it worth the risk to keep developing AI in that case? But there's also a benefit. If self-driving cars get better and better, we're going to save 30,000 lives a year in traffic fatalities alone. Not to mention the ones that go unreported, like problems with actually just getting in minor crashes that aren't death-related, but damage a lot of property. We wouldn't have to worry about that anymore. Airplanes may not crash as easily. Like, any human error problem could be taken away with simple AI. The question is, should we stop? Or should we just keep on going? What would you guys use AI for? You can tell us in the comments. And also, check out tomorrow's episode about the future of AI and where it's going to go. Subscribe so you don't miss that. And click here to see yesterday's episode, which covers the AI that exists around the world today. Thank you for watching. Thank <laughs> you.